Hey, this is Class Creatives, and in this video, we'll discuss how industry professionals use ZBrush to produce some of the best 3D characters for movies, games, and TV shows. Many of our students are curious about how to get started with ZBrush for 3D character creation, and we hope this video will help clarify why ZBrush is used by studios, online educators, indie developers, and universities to create 3D assets. In this video, we'll discuss how some of the best studios in the world create 3D character sculpts with ZBrush. There's some really amazing software advancements that have been making waves recently, raising questions about where new artists should begin honing their own distinct skill sets. We understand everyone has their own unique perspective on this topic, but we hope this video will help shed some light on where studios are heading with ZBrush and why the best studios have been using it for several decades. In the early 2000s, ZBrush was the only 3D sculpting software in the industry. It was a revolutionary tool that allowed artists to create detailed and complex 3D models with a level of ease and flexibility that was not previously available. This helped establish ZBrush as a pioneer in 3D sculpting. In the mid-2000s, Mudbox was released. It was a more user-friendly sculpting software that was seen as a more approachable option for beginners. Mudbox quickly gained traction, but it was never able to rival ZBrush in terms of features or capabilities. In 2007, 3D Coat and Blender also added 3D sculpting functionalities. However, Blender was not solely dedicated to sculpting, and the sculpting tools in both 3D Coat and Blender were not as powerful as those in ZBrush. In 2012, Autodesk acquired Mudbox. After the acquisition, there were few new updates to the software, and it eventually became a forgotten tool. This left ZBrush as the only industry standard 3D sculpting software. However, in recent years, ZBrush has become more expensive and subscription-based. This has led some 3D artists to look for alternatives such as 3D Coat and Blender. Overall, ZBrush is still the king of 3D sculpting, but it is facing increasing competition from other software. It excels at sculpting complex, hyper-realistic characters, monsters, and creatures. Its ability to create extremely high-resolution models, intricate details, made it the best tool to create complex 3D characters and environments. It remains to be seen whether ZBrush will be able to maintain its dominance in the future. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Learn professional workflows such as 3D character modeling, utilizing industry standard software such as ZBrush, Autodesk Maya, and Substance Painter. The entire character design workflow is covered from start to finish in their masterclass offerings. Learn the entire process of animation and motion capture using Autodesk Maya by following the methods used to create industry quality professional animation. The full animation workflow is explained in detail in their masterclass courses. Extensive character rigging courses teach the process of how to custom rig characters for all of your project needs. Land that new job, receive higher pay, and stand out from the competition. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. Major studios such as Capcom have been using ZBrush as early as 2004 for the cover art for Monster Hunter and was introduced as a game modeling tool from Resident Evil 5. It has become an essential tool for creating characters and assets for their games. For Street Fighter 6, they used 3D scan data to create the base models for the characters. This data was then cleaned up and adjusted in ZBrush to fit the game's art style. Blend shapes are created in ZBrush to allow the characters to make a variety of facial expressions and model movements. The characters' textures were hand-painted in ZBrush, with some elements being projected from the 3D scan data. Dynamesh allowed dynamic sculpting of muscles, enabling artists to quickly adjust and refine muscle shapes with organic precision. Sculpting specific muscle groups like biceps, triceps, and deltoids streamlined the production process, ensuring anatomical accuracy. Masking specific areas allowed artists to focus on individual muscles without affecting others. Layering different muscle groups helped build complex musculature with depth and definition. Fiber mesh was crucial for creating realistic muscle striations and fiber details, adding a touch of hyper-realism to the characters. Z-Wrap Pro helped seamlessly wrap cloth textures onto the sculpted character models, adapting to their dynamic poses and movements. Some artists used Marvelous Designer for advanced cloth simulation, creating realistic folds and wrinkles on clothing. Textures for cloth were primarily hand-painted in ZBrush, allowing artists to incorporate subtle details like fabric weave, wear and tear, and even logos or patterns. Alpha brushes were used to create intricate patterns on clothing like stitching or embroidery. 
Translucency settings were adjusted for fabrics like thin shirts to add realism to light interaction. Polygroups help group and manage different muscle and cloth parts, making it easier to isolate and edit specific areas. ZBrush's collaborative tools allowed artists to work on the same character model simultaneously, streamlining the workflow and ensuring consistency across different parts. Artists use ZBrush's material properties to define the surface qualities of muscles and cloth, such as skin-like elasticity for muscles and fabric-like drape for clothing. By combining these ZBrush techniques, the Capcom team was able to create incredibly detailed and realistic muscles and cloth for the characters in Street Fighter VI, further elevating the game's visual quality and immersion. ZBrush is also used to create highly stylized characters such as those in Blizzard's Overwatch series. Character modeling focused on three main pillars for the character creation process. Bold, exciting shapes, amplified intent, and cinematic characters. The Overwatch character modeling process starts with a blockout stage, where the basic shapes of the character are created. The blockout is then refined into a high poly model, which is used for the in-game mesh. Overwatch characters are designed to be readable from a distance in the midst of hectic gameplay, so they are designed to have bold and exciting shapes to help them stand out to the user. Overwatch characters are also designed to be cinematic, so they have a lot of detail and personality which are conveyed through their emote animations, select screen animations, in-game and pre-rendered cinematics. Minor details like scars, wrinkles, and accessories give characters a lived-in feel and enhance their unique personalities. Advances are made with each installment such as characters having more than one hairstyle which can be a very complex 3D asset to create for characters, especially for game development. The use of floaters were used in the modeling process. Floaters are small pieces of geometry that are used to add detail to a model. Using a custom IMM insert multi-mesh brush allows artists to quickly experiment with different floaters and find ones that work best for the design. This in combination with Z Remesher helps artists optimize geometry for in-game performance. Overwatch characters had to balance visual fidelity with efficient poly count usage for optimal game performance. Reducing poly count without sacrifice detail is a crucial aspect to character creation for video games. For Marvel's Spider-Man suit, Insomnia Games used ZBrush to create a suit that was both iconic and unique that would match the quality and details of the suits through several years of visual effects movies. They also wanted to make sure that the suit was functional and would allow Spider-Man to move and fight freely. For the suit, the artist would start with a base mesh, use poly paint to sketch out design ideas such as panels and piping, and custom IMM brush and Z modeler to build the detailed piping geometry. Corrective blend shapes were used to fix any problems with the suit after character rigging. ZBrush was used in Final Fantasy 16 to create characters and creatures to achieve a balance between realism and the Final Fantasy stylized art style. For the characters, they used a base mesh created from 3D scans of real people's faces. This helped them to create realistic proportions and features, but they also added details to make the characters look more like Final Fantasy characters. The clothing and armor were also created using digital sculpting. They used Marvelous Designer to create the basic shapes of the fabric and leather, and then they added details such as wrinkles and scratches in armor and ZBrush. For the creatures, they used a unique workflow that involved creating a mock-up model in ZBrush, reducing the poly count with Decimation Master, unwrap the UV in Maya using automatic UV unwrapping features, and then added rough texture details in Substance Painter. This would then be exported to the game engine. This allowed them to quickly create creatures that look good enough to be used in the game, and it also gave them a way to easily share their ideas with the other departments for rigging and animation. The award-winning creatures in the most recent Diablo franchise from Blizzard were created using ZBrush. Understanding anatomy and a lot of animal references were required to sculpt Blizzard's realistic creatures. To sculpt the teeth, claws, and fur in exquisite detail, artists needed to isolate specific areas of the model while working, which required the use of masking techniques. Sculpting techniques such as inflating were used to create the basic shape of the creature's body, smoothing to create smooth surfaces, and pinching to create wrinkles and folds. Folds and wrinkles are an important part of what makes creatures look realistic, and a variety of techniques were used to create folds and wrinkles in creatures' skin and fur, such as using the dam standard brush and the pinch brush. The way the light interacts with the creature's skin and fur is determined by the material properties of those materials. Consideration of these materials are crucial when sculpting, as they can directly impact the way a creature looks in the final render. As the software developed over time, additional features and tool sets that would become industry standards, such as Z spheres, creating base meshes, 
production of subsurface modeling all allowed artists to create extremely highly detailed models more efficiently. Another valuable use for ZBrush sculpting is the use of hard surface modeling. This refers to objects such as armor, machines, mechs, weapons, etc. Although ZBrush is typically known for its abilities in organic modeling, it is also a very powerful tool for hard surface modeling. ZBrush allows you to flow naturally from 2D sketching and 3D sculpting seamlessly. Adding details, masks, and precise extruding allow the artist an endless ability to add extremely fine details. ZBrush is one of, if not the best software for hard surface modeling. 3ds Max is a popular choice for hard surface modeling because it has a wide range of tools and features, including modifiers, shortcuts, and plugins. Autodesk recently made some critical updates that have helped the software catch up to speed to some of the modern day workflows that were introduced by competitors such as Blender. Due to its long history and relatively easy to use capabilities, it is a popular option for 3D modeling. Blender's popularity as a free open source 3D modeling program has been largely attributed to its powerful add-ons, an updated user interface, abundant tools, and wide community of users. Recently, Blender has been edging out 3ds Max, especially with its state-of-the-art add-ons. Maya is another great 3D package for hard surface modeling. Similar to 3ds Max and Blender, Maya benefits from plugin add-ons, which help to make hard surface modeling projects faster. Using ZBrush to create the hard surface mesh and then taking it to Maya for retopology is a common industry workflow practice. This allows artists to benefit from the strengths of both softwares. Well, that about wraps up this video on why state-of-the-art CG production studios utilize ZBrush for sculpting high detailed characters and why it's an important integral piece in the process of creating 3D characters for video games, television, and feature films. The production workflow has made some slight changes over the years, However, ZBrush is still regarded as one of, if not the best, application for sculpting professional 3D characters. We hope this video was informative on the development process of the CG industry over time, how it has evolved, and how the top studios in the world use ZBrush for production. Are you using ZBrush for your personal projects or as a working professional at your studio? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect!